it's just hard for me because I don't want to be on this side of it. I want to be on the other side. A Utah woman coming to grips with a new reality tonight. Her life of service has been turned upside down, and now many are serving her. Mike Condini. Yeah, Dave, a Cache County woman back here in Utah after suffering from a horrendous accident in Africa where she lost both of her legs. New specialist Ashley Moser is at the University Hospital where she's now being treated. Ashley? Mm -hmm. Well, Dee, Dee, it'll be a long road to recovery for 52-year-old Paula Gilsdorf. Back in March, she was on a humanitarian trip in Senegal, but hours after she landed, she got into an accident that changed her life forever. I don't know if anybody really knows what happened. Yeah. It's hard for Paula Gilsdorf to recall the moment of impact. The only thing I remember is feeling like I was laying in sticks and rocks. But the aftermath is something she says she'll never forget. I do remember my legs just felt cold. Her legs badly injured after a taxi ride from the airport ended in five people injured. Gilsdorf was with a humanitarian group in Senegal. It was her second time in Africa. This trip, she planned to help out in local eye clinics. But hours after landing, she got into an accident. She was taken to a local hospital where she says fear turned to doubt in the country's medical care. I was concerned, but also the doctor that was in the car, he's like, we got to get her out of here. So she was flown to France, where doctors did an emergency surgery. The doctor just said, you know, we, there was, there was no, there was no chance of saving your legs. We had to amputate both your legs from the knee down. Gilsdorf spent four weeks recovering there. She was then brought back to Utah, where she's now figuring out how to live without her legs. Friends and family, no strangers to her hospital room. But as a nurse, she says her new reality is difficult to accept. It's just hard for me because I don't want to be on this side of it. I want to be on the other side. Paula says she'll hopefully be out of the hospital next week. She still will have to go through physical therapy, one more surgery, and then in a couple of months she'll be fitted for prosthetics. But she tells me she wants to go back to Africa and finish what she started. Back to you. It's amazing. She still wants to be on the other end of service. Ashley, thanks. Utah Highway Patrol.